tell you right now, guys, women in this process, typically the vast majority of them, are going to want to fall in love and to get married and to have an honest relationship, as I mentioned before. They're not so much into pen pals, right? So, you know, there are a lot of guys that write letters. I've said it many, many times. 90% of the tens of thousands of men who write letters will never get on a plane and go and meet anybody. And sometimes if the letters never get off the ground, you know, we doubt the whole sincerity of, of all the women in this process or the agencies like a foreign affair who bring those women to you. But in reality, guys, if men are going to write letters to the women uh, and the women are only going to receive letters and not have a chance to meet somebody, well, that's a pen pal situation and women in this process are not looking for a pen pal, they are looking for a life partner. Yes, they will absolutely write to you and use correspondence as a tool, but they're not going to write for a year or two years at a time. They definitely want something to come of that correspondence and all the time and effort that they're putting into it, especially if they don't speak English as a primary language. So, you know, guys, it's on us after several months of correspondence to make the decision, pen pal, keyboard, Romeo, or foreign bride, life mate, finder. And we have to come to that crossroads and make the decision to move forward because women in this process will hang out with in correspondence for a little while, but at some point they definitely want to move on. Something else the women in this process typically do not want or do not expect, and this confuses a number of guys. And I gotta tell you, this is something that I talk about and have talked about for years and years and years. And there are guys that have heard this, but they blow beyond it uh, and still wind up on our romance tours with with the wrong expectations. Women in this process do not want casual relationships. I'll put this bluntly, guys. Women in this process aren't looking for intimacy with a guy just for the sake of intimacy with the guy. Women in this process, whether they're from Ukraine or China or the Philippines or Latin America, are not just looking to, to prove their worthiness to some guy by being intimate with him and hoping that he'll decide to fall in love it's nothing at all like that, guys. In fact, guys who go on our romance tours with that expectation are usually sorely disappointed. And those are typically the guys who will come back and, and they're quite prolific and they'll write all over the internet what a scam the whole thing is because even though they don't necessarily spell it out in detail for you, I couldn't get these women to sleep with me on a first or second date. Look, women in this process, guys, if they only wanted casual sex, they would stay in their environment with their local men who only want casual sex and have casual sex with men who are typically younger and better looking than we are. The reality the reality is they want a husband, they want a responsible life mate, they want a monogamous spouse. That's why they're here. That's what we have to offer them that their local men do not. And I can tell you right now, guys, that's the vast majority of, of uh, what certainly a lot of these women would expect. You know, there are guys that come to this process expecting that these are all uh, desperate women. Again, I mentioned it earlier, and, and they're just expecting the bachelor party in Vegas type of environment. Man, no matter what I do to show these guys that that's definitely not what you're getting yourself into. This is a very integrity-driven process with very, very good women on the other side of it. It's really hard for those guys, again, who are stuck in that paradigm to get themselves out of it. But, you know, guys, for what it's worth, if you're looking for a life partner, if you're looking for a spouse you can love and adore, treat as an equal, nurture her dreams, give her as much love and support as you possibly can, listen to her, let her opinions and ideas impact you and affect you and your relationship, you're in a good spot. I can introduce you to so many women who will fit that description for you and they will be incredibly lovely and beautiful. Interested? Learn more at a-foreign-affair.com If you enjoyed this video, be sure to give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. Then click on the notice bell to get notified every time we add something new.